All right, so this is D-sharp, A-sharp, D-sharp. So it's a half step higher than the D-A-D. I'm gonna drop it down there. Okay, let me see if I can go a little lower. So I think this is probably as low as you'll get, which is C sharp, G sharp, C sharp. So it's a half step below D, A, D. If you go lower, So the strings are getting floppy now. Some things will sound okay, but then you'll hit certain notes and they'll be a little bit sour because the strings are too light a gauge to go in a lower tuning. So it'll, the instrument will be playing out of tune. Let's see if I can give you an idea of that. I guess it's not too bad. This chord's a little loud. So if you look at the action, it's really nice and low. It's going to be really easy to play. And it has a very narrow fingerboard. So, you know, the barring, if you get into the bar chord thing, it's going to, it's going to be a lot easier. I'm going to tune it up again. So I'm tuning it up a half step higher because I'm going to take this first string and drop it down into a minor tuning.
이게 돼야 돼요. 그래서 so you can go a little higher, so when you drop down, you'll still be able to play in tune, but the string won't be too floppy. Well, I'll try it in D, A, D. Maybe it sounds better in D, A, D. That's a D minor tuning. I'll show you how to do all that. I'll, I'll make videos. So, 23 and a half inch scale, which means from this zero fret here to this top of the bridge here is 23 and a half inches. Now, there's a line that I have marked that the bridge has to sit up to it's just visible and that gives you the right uh, distance now if I ship it the bridge will be detached and you'll have to just basically I'll show it if you're interested um, I will definitely make a video of it and post it so you see how to do it and know how to do it once it's in place you it's there you know you don't have to adjust it anymore and even if you don't want to ever adjust it again you can just change your strings one string at a time and it'll never come down the reason why, um, if if I ship this with the bridge on, you know, if the package gets knocked, this bridge could split the top. Okay, so all instruments that have these kind of higher bridges, you know, they don't they don't uh, typically ship um, with the bridge attached. And then the thing about it is, you can adjust this bridge a little bit for intonation, although it's already adjusted. Um, so I'll give you another look at the instrument here. You got this nice flamed maple mahogany overlay. Now the nut is it's a string through nut, so there's no notches or anything. It'll never wear out. The strings go over this fret here. They go through holes that are drilled into this nut here that is glued and screwed into the instrument so it's never going anywhere so very solid lock up here the strings will never flop loose on you same token you've got uh, a strap button here but there's a little peg right here if you can see that so that means if instead of ball in strings if you have loop strings you can just loop around that peg so you can use either ball or loop in strings of course i'm playing it electrified it's got cherry sides a walnut back the coat uh, end cap there and then this is your strap button right here and here so you can have a strap it's a nice heavy duty uh, brass tail piece so that's the limitation with this is basically your tuning range it's going to be in a higher tuning um, so let me show you another instrument which is not for sale <laughs> it's one that I made six years ago um, and it's rough but it sounds good I think um, it's got a different back it's got spelt a maple back and some wind and the neck's still really clunky. It's even, it's not sanded very well. Um, but it's built very, very thin. So you're going to have a, a different sound. And it's different scale. This one is uh, 25 uh, inch scale. So it's going to be, you'll be able to lower tuning.
definitely a much more dramatic sound. Now it has four strings, uh, so the double, the first string is a double chord, so you get, you know, more treble punch in this. Um, and I'm C sharp, G sharp. That's another option. I mean, obviously, I don't have anything built at this time, but you know, if you're interested, you're willing to wait. You know, it will be more um, if you opt for, you know, a custom made one. Um, well, this one's custom made here, but you know, it's already made. So, but to build one to your specs, um, you know, I could build a longer scale, could take a heavier string, get a lower tuning that what you what you lose is you lose the higher range you know so you can go up so high and then you'll be able to go any higher so that's kind of the difference in a nutshell you know this is a cool one but uh, you know I was experimenting and I built it just on the cusp of collapse I mean the the top is so ultra thin and that's part of the reason why I think it's it got such a more dramatic sound <laughs> So let me know what you're thinking and um, happy playing.